Hey guys, I finally have this to a point where I'm ready to show you my 2020 setup. I've been working on this for a couple weeks, um, off and on. It's actually been kind of relaxing and refreshing to be working on it off camera, um, because there's like less of, um, stress to like get it right the first time, I guess, or I don't know, but, um, I've been just sort of tweaking with things a little bit and I'm just going to do a flip through today of what I have set up going into January, 2020. So I'm still in my Malden, um, in my ochre color. I love this one. It just makes me so happy. Um, a lot of things are going to be the same from last year. I have just refreshed some things. A couple, um, inserts have been just redone to be prettier, but mostly it's going to be just like the new, um, yearly inserts, but then I've also moved things around a little bit. So, um, let's see, first of all, on the front, I still have driver's license and credit card, um, the, you know, page flags, washi tape cutter and some gift cards. Um, in the back, I haven't remade this yet and I don't know if I will. Um, but I'm not going to be using the Christmas washi wrap for, um, for January. It's just still in there. Um, I am using a Muji gel pen now. I don't know if I, how much I've shown this, but I got these off Amazon. Um, and I'm liking it a lot mostly because it fits nicely, um, because it writes really well and because it dries nice and quickly. Um, previously I was using a, um, pilot, um, what's it called the G2, I think the 07 and it's just a lot of ink. So, uh, let's see, I'm using these dividers from Danny's planner cuties on Etsy. Um, these are the ones that I got way back when I first started using rings. They're still holding up great. I put a little packing tape over the edge of the tabs to just kind of keep them a little bit more secure, but they're still doing great and I still like them a lot. So I figured I would use them and go for something simple to start off with without trying to, I'm not going to spend extra time in December making like bespoke divider tabs, um, when I don't have an inspiration for it or time. So, um, let's be. Again, let's see. I was going to take this out too. This is, um, my 2019 bra tracker and it's almost full. So I have the 2021 in here. So I took out a couple of things, um, that don't apply to 2020, but I'm still, I'm going to put them back in when I'm done recording because I'm still recording this in December. All right. Here is the January setup that I did in last Thursday's video. So you can go ahead and check that out if you want to see me decorating this. Then here we go. Real quick change of plans. I was going to use the Peanuts Planner Co. Um, undated yearly bundle for this, but then My Summer Touch released her One Thing One Year tracker. Um, so this is all on one page. It doesn't require the fold out for the key, which I really like. The key is here in this column. Um, so if I forget what letter refers to which bra, here we go. So yeah, this is my bra tracker for 2020, all fresh and clean. I haven't used it yet. Um, but it's going to be on this one this year, pretty much the same layout, but just a little bit more compact, which is nice. So this is from my summer touch blank and ready to go. This is my NFP chart. It's not going anywhere. Then I redid my, uh, all my routines insert from my summer touch. Uh, previously this was like a purple, mostly I think with some gray. Anyway, I decided to use one of the stickers that I got in one of the little, um, little sampler of uh planner kate stickers and i thought that made a lot of sense to put a little coffee sticker up here so this is my am routine and my pm routine and then my general every day during the week at least you know when i work when i sleep and all of that um, this is just really nice to be able to like remind me of what my morning routine is without it having to be something that's adding stress to my life by being a tracker that i need to fill out every day so this is good for that um, on the back i have these two sections I put which laundry load I do every day and then who watches the baby every day during the week. Um, and then I just covered up the weekend and also the months here. So this section here has room for four yearly routines. I could not think of anything to put there. So I just covered that and left this blank. I don't know if I'll put something here. Probably not. Just leave it simple. Um, but yeah, I, yearly routines, they go on a separate insert back with my future log. Let's see. Um, I have a waiting on list that I don't use very often. 
Um, and you see, yeah, this hasn't been touched in like a while. I feel like it's important to have it, but I don't use it very often. The someday maybe list I also should look at more often and maybe pare down more often. But anyway, first tab is uh, day monthlies, weeklies, weeklies and dailies. So for my dailies, um, I'm using these sticky notes from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I have a couple of them stored in the back here, some extra ones. I'm filming this on the 21st and we just went to go see Star Wars and now I'm getting some stuff done. So um, I still have my December weeklies in here because I haven't printed them out for January yet because I have other things that I need to worry about. But you know, see, I haven't decided. I'm alternating in my mind between wanting to continue with this Peanuts Planner Co. Grid Lovers Weekly which I keep, mis I keep misspeaking whenever I talk about this on my YouTube channel. This is a Peanuts Planner Co. insert. Um, I'm thinking of either using this or going back to the week on a foldout from my summer touch. Haven't decided yet what's going to work for me. I'm just going to think about it over this next weekend as we're, we're going to be traveling and stuff. And I may not even do a weekly for New, New Year's week. Or if I do, it'll be really simple because I have, have some time off. And I'm, yeah, just, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Anyway, I put the little bookmark here because it needs to go somewhere. And this seems like as good a place as any. Great explanation. Second tab is my inbox. This one here is like full and used up. Here's what it looks like. We have general inbox here. Things that I don't know where to put them. If I don't have time to put them somewhere specific, they go here first, right? And then they can get migrated wherever. This here, I'm going to be talking about in next week's video. There's a little preview of next week's video. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will tell you all about what this is next Thursday. The next tab is uh, projects. I redid the index here so that they all match and they're a little bit prettier. Use some of my decorative page flags. Um, this photo is now over a year old and she's gotten so big, but it's on a punched thing already. So I just leave it there. Um, so yeah, here's, here's what we have in like projects and reference, I guess all kind of together. So this is what the cleaning schedule would look like in my ideal world where I get time to clean every day. Eh, it's been a, a crazy month for me. So I can't even look at that right now. This is my list of dinner ideas. I did a whole video about that. This is my list of uh, library books that are checked out and when they're due with a couple that I'd like to check out someday later. Things I want to watch, Christmas movies that I want to watch and where they're located. Um, this is my list of gift ideas. Generally, I have it covered up because I don't want you to see it just in case you are someone who's on the list. And then this is for my own wish list. I'm definitely going to be updating this after Christmas because most of the things on my wish lists like went to friends and family um, as wish lists. And then this here is my like profit and loss, I guess, for my channel um, now that I'm uh, monetized again. So like here's where I bought three years of hosting for my website. Um, and then when I get my first AdSense paycheck, um, I'll be able to start, you know, tracking like how much I have income from the channel so that I can spend that back on the channel, you know, keep track of it. This little guy, this little sticky sticker thingy, this is given to me as a gift from my sister. She had some that she wasn't using. It's a prayer list, uh, like fold up thingy and I'm showing it to you now. And then I'm probably going to fill it out <laughs> eventually. Um, and then probably not show it to you again. So now you see what it looks like. Honestly, no idea where this came from. It's like a Bible journaling thing, I assume. And there were a couple of them. Um, but this one's in here and it's stuck to the uh, tab. So it can't go anywhere. I was going to use it. And then I moved away from these tabs. So now that it, I'm back in here, I'll use it again. Then the next section is all of the MH stuff. This was not its own section until just like this week because it didn't need to be. But since I moved some things out of here, I had a spare tab, so I figured I'll stick it in its own section. So I redid, let's see, obviously the year at a glance had to be new because it's a new year. So this just tells me like when the year on my Hogwarts starts and ends and what year we're on, or what week we're on and all that. Um, and then 
in, I've, I've done this multiple times in multiple setups. I've had it over two pages. I've had it sideways so that I can fit everything this way. I got this little fold out guy and you know, I haven't looked yet to see where, how it's listed on the My Summer Touch website. Um, when I started uh, PRing for her, she sent me just a bunch of pocket size inserts and this one was on there. So I believe it's just called like grid fold out. Um, and so it's just, it's just a grid fold out and I was able to use this perfectly to fit all the information, lots of shoulder wiggle room, um, to work with. I have an entire section of it just for the notes that used to only be on like, you know, half of one page. So this is great. This is perfect for this. This is where I keep track of all of the, um, with you, which is like the continuing education courses on myhogwarts.com. Then on the back of it is where I'm keeping my like general to-do list. Previously, this was like an Alistair thing where I had week one, week two, week three, week four. But as you see, I dropped a bunch of my jobs on my Hogwarts. So there's only, I only have two jobs and I kind of like clump the tasks together in like one week. So there's, you know, one, two, three, four weeks. And then I guess this is like a two week spread or um, chunk that I have some tasks to do. So I just have it organized this way. It's more concise this way. Uh, it was just easier. So, and then, oh, these are some notes about potential projects in the future. So they're kind of tucked in the back here. <laughs> and this is working really good. I like that it's all in one place and I like the fold out. I like that it's all visible. It's easier to keep track of. I like it. See, the next section here is my future log. So this is the same future log printable that I used for last year. This is from the 2020 yearly bundle from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, and I put uh, washi tape on the edges of all of these yearly inserts now just to kind of keep them a little bit more stable, I guess, long lasting. So there you go. That's my 2020. And then this is for 2021, anything that comes up. And then this is for anything that comes up beyond. And then this insert here is for um, birthdays, anniversaries, etc. So this is exactly the same insert. It's been here forever. And I just leave it in here because it nothing changes on there. Then this is the recurring task list. Uh, like I was saying, I have more than four. Um, so this, yeah, on either side, everything that needs to get done certain days of the month or whatever. I don't know. I haven't really gone into this in too much detail, but usually there's a date. Some of these, there's just like a dot. It just needs to happen sometime that month. But generally it's like, okay, yeah, the mortgage is due on the last day of the month or I try to change my razor around the 15th of the month, stuff like that. And I just check this once a, once a month when I'm doing my monthly setup. This guy here, I'm going to do a whole blog post about the reasoning behind this, but this insert is gonna be for my New Year's resolution. Um, I don't usually make New Year's resolutions, more about that I guess in the blog post, but this will be, I'll be setting a goal for each month I'm going to be trying to focus a little bit on my health, getting a little bit more fit. So making a SMART goal every month. Um, I don't remember what it stands for. It's like uh, actionable, measurable, uh, whatever. <laughs> the point is something that you can actually track and potentially like accomplish. So I'm just going to be trying to do 10 crunches every morning or sometime during the day. I haven't figured that out, but this is the tracker to sort of don't break the chain it. And then I'm just going to put my weight at the beginning of the month, um, each month, because I had these stickers from my little man B sticker book. And then I will put a little bit of a blurb at the end of the month on how it went and my thoughts just very, very briefly, um, before moving on to the next month. So this is what my, uh, new year's resolution tracking is going to look like. And this, notice this is the same insert as this one. Um, and these are both from the undated yearly bundle from Peanuts Planner Co. Finally, the last tab is spare paper. I have a couple sticky notes. I have, let's see, a lined, a grid, a different grid, and these little categorized lines or whatever. A few random stickers and it's all the same stuff. Some cards in the back. And there we go. These are also stickers. These are all of those uh, Annie Plans samplers that I was telling you about. No, Annie Plans. Planner Kate. I need to actually think before I speak. All right, so that's everything for 2020. 
What do you guys think? Have you overhauled your system for the new year or are you just sort of tweaking things slightly, updating them slightly and moving on in the status quo like I am? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see this guy next week. And I'll see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.